Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tartarus Inc. So I guess you are as excited as me for the planned implementation of planets into the game. Cause the ability to build a ship, land it on a big planet with atmosphere and probably vegetation and wildlife and build a base there as well. Ah man I can't wait to do that. And the fact that the planetary gravity will influence your ship adds so much more depth to the whole construction thing and makes me wanna cry tears of joy. But one day, today to be exact, I had a thought I would like to share with you and hear your opinion on. And for that, I have set up a little experiment. So I have recently seen a lot of stuff on the workshop that is made to use as planetary landing vehicle concepts or an idea for colonizing a planet or something like that. But one thing a lot of those builders do not consider is the planet's gravitational pull and its effect on the vessel. So for my experiment I chose the following parameters. Force of gravity 1g, just like on our Earth. The rate the gravity affects the ship 1 to 1. That means 1 kg ship mass gets treated as 1 kg to be influenced by gravity with 1g. If you know what I mean. So on to the experiment. Here we have a rather small ship with a mass of around 25,000 kg. In space it flies pretty well and its maneuverability is alright. Nothing special and something that can be produced very quick and cheap. Now, let's pretend we are standing on a planet and want to fly home from our picnic. Here we have the same ship, but this time it gets affected by gravity, which is simulated by mass blocks, which pull the ship in the gravity's direction with around 24,000 kg, which is close enough, I think. And nothing moves. No lift up, nothing. So it seems we will die of starvation. Bad luck. Just to show you how much 24,000 kg in mass blocks is, it's 12 of them each having an artificial weight of 2000 kg. Now how much additional force do we actually need to get the ship moving? And just for you to remember, every thruster that we add would add to the mass that has to be moved. But for this part we don't calculate that in, to keep things easier. So I have set up that little machine right here to show you something. Here we have 12 mass blocks and 20 thrusters. Now if we hop on board and try it with 16 thrusters enabled, we don't really get a lift off. So we actually need 20 additional thrusters to get the ship moving, which has the exact simulated mass as our little fighter over there. So I went ahead and added the 20 additional thrusters to our ship and there was the next problem. I could technically lift off even though it feels very unstable, but if we turn a little bit to the side or front we will most likely crash. That is due to the fact that the gravity still pulls us straight down even though our ship is now in another position. So we can't compensate that with our additional thrusters. So the only solution I could come up with is to add more thrusters to each direction. But to be honest, it still flies pretty shitty and just looks stupid. To sum that all up, I really hope that the devs come up with a brilliant idea on how to get the gravitational pull in a balanced way. Strong enough to be a challenge, but not too strong that we need a shitload of additional thrusters to compensate. Cause at the moment, considering the parameters I chose, we would need one additional small thruster per 1200 kg, with one small thruster itself weighing around 100 kg. Ok guys and girls, that's it for today's video. I know it was highly theoretical, but I had the thoughts and really wanted to share them with you. So what do you think? What is your opinion on the effect that gravity should have on ships? Feel free to start a discussion down in the comments. I am very curious about what you think. So hopefully I will see you all next time here on Tartarus Inc. And until then and as always, keep on engineering and cheers!